In today's video, we're gonna put Ray Fabricare to the test. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love helping the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes. Join me as we explore the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. I've always said that the lifetime of any garment can be measured in the number of times that it's sent to the dry cleaners. That's because most dry cleaners really put a lot of strain and stress on a garment as it goes through the dry cleaning process. Between the chemicals and probably more importantly, the heat and just the pressure of the pressing process through a high volume dry cleaner, you can really see a lot of damage being done to a shirt. Now that said, everyone on this channel knows that I'm a huge fan of Ray Fabricare in Scottsdale, Arizona. Ray Fabricare is owned by Stu Bloom, and he's probably the best dry cleaners in the nation and does an absolutely exceptional job. A lot of people think I'm crazy for mailing my dry cleaning to Arizona to be cleaned, but if it's an important garment, if it's an important piece that you've invested in and spent money, you really wanna ensure that it's properly cared for during the dry cleaning process. Ray Fabricare can not only take care of a garment, but can actually bring a garment that's on the end of its lifetime really back from the brink. So I thought it would be fun to just give you guys a few examples of just how uh, exceptional, how good Ray Fabricare is. So these are some shirts uh, that were worn by my children, my two sons, Nathaniel and Nicholas, this past week over the Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, we were at my father's house. He kind of has a little bit of land. And you can see they had an absolutely incredible time wearing these shirts. Uh, these are two Charvet shirts I had made for them, uh, matching. Uh, I've got a matching one also, but we don't all three wear them matching at the same time. Uh, but that said, this is uh, what we put them in for Thanksgiving, and uh, they just went nuts in these shirts. You can see this has got a little bit of, um, I think this is marshmallow. Uh, this is uh, probably Gatorade all over the front of the shirts. I mean, these shirts right here are in absolutely terrible condition. And to be totally honest, um, I don't think a normal dry cleaner would really be able to do anything for these. They'd probably be the last time these shirts are worn. But we're gonna send them to Ray Fabricare, we're gonna see what Stu can do, and then whenever he sends them back, we're gonna unbox them for you on this channel. One of the things that's really unique about Stu's dry cleaning process at Ray Fabricare is that every single shirt goes through two different black lights in order to identify stains. Now on these shirts right here, I don't think the stains are gonna be difficult to identify, uh, but if you're mailing something in that might just have a small random stain that you don't know about, because of the black lights, they're able to identify that and make sure that each uh, stain uh, is specifically treated. Okay, so let's send these off to Stu and uh, see what he can do. For this video, uh, I'm not gonna tell him these shirts are coming. Uh, so this really will be an honest representation of, of what they can do. I'll send that out in the warehouse and have them put a label on this. Okay, so it's been a few weeks and I'm excited to say that uh, the two shirts from Thanksgiving uh, have just arrived back at the office. You'll remember these were the two shirts that my sons destroyed over Thanksgiving. Uh, and uh, let's open these up and see how Rave did. So as you can see, Rave does a great job uh, with all of their packaging. Uh, they really are exceptional and unboxing their shirts are amongst uh, one of my favorite things to do. So let's uh, open this up carefully. You've got to be very careful not to actually cut any of your shirts whenever you're doing this, which has happened before. All right. Let's see. All right, one shirt, two shirts. So you can see that uh, Rave packs everything in these little air puffs. So let's take that off. And uh, these are the uh, little charges. So $20 a shirt, not inexpensive, but whenever you consider that these otherwise would have been uh, completely thrown away, uh, I'm actually saving some shirts uh, that otherwise would uh, look like rubbish. So let's open these up and actually see how uh, Stu did. Okay, first shirt. Now they do really a spectacular job uh, packaging these shirts as you can see. 
Wow, so <laughs> this looks incredible. <laughs> I couldn't have sent him two worse shirts uh, than we did here. So this was Nathaniel's. His was probably the most mild. Let's take a look at Nicholas's and see what his looks like. So uh, we're gonna pull all this packaging off. And um, I mean, here you are. I mean, uh, you know, he really makes it look easy as you can see here. I mean, the shirts, uh, you can't see any staining. I mean, these were absolutely in terrible shape. I mean, I think we had marshmallow on the sleeves. Um, and the other thing that just can't be overstated uh, is just, you know, I don't know how Stu does it at Ray Fabricare, uh, but whenever he launders his shirts, uh, they just seem to come back softer uh, with a smoother finish uh, than whenever I send them to the local dry cleaners. And I think it has something to do with just how they're pressed. Uh, you know, uh, everything about his process is gentle. Uh, and it's that gentle process uh, that it really allows them to extend and lengthen the life of a shirt. I mean, I always say that the lifetime of, of any piece of clothing uh, really can be measured in how many times it's sent to the dry cleaners. You want to do it as sparingly as possible just because uh, most dry cleaners are really uh, rough on their clothing. And this just isn't the case uh, with Stu. So these shirts are completely um, incredible. I mean, look, totally clean, like new. Um, you know, there's not a blemish or a stain anywhere on these things. And it's uh, this type of attention to detail that really has me go back uh, to Ray Fabricare. Um, you know, again, uh, this isn't a paid advertisement by them. I mean, they really are who I send my shirts to be laundered. Uh, every single shirt goes through two different black lights in order to identify the different stains. Uh, every shirt is really treated uh, differently depending on the type of shirt it is. So you'll remember Nicholas's shirt had Gatorade uh, all over the front of it. I mean, it was absolutely filthy. And uh, Nathaniel's shirt, I mean, I don't even remember now what was on it, but I just remember it being uh, absolutely terrible. I mean, I think that there was, um, what was it, some marshmallow, some s'mores or something on the sleeve. Um, you know, these shirts couldn't have been in worse condition. And as you can see, totally brought back to life, good as new. So whenever I set off on this, I thought it would be a fun challenge, really to just demonstrate and show uh, how exceptional Ray Fabric Care is and how thorough and complete they are in their process. You know, to be totally honest, uh, whenever we sent these off to Ray Fabric Care, I didn't let them know that we were gonna film this video. I didn't give them the heads up that we were sending them some shirts that were in terrible condition. I just literally bagged them up and mailed these to Ray Fabric Care. Uh, and then as you can see, they sent them back. Uh, absolutely no special treatment. I mean, that's the box that I would have received my normal shirts in. So whenever I opened the box, I really was a little bit nervous to see how they'd come back. I had no expectations. I mean, of course I thought they'd be good, uh, but I knew that this one was gonna be a little bit on the edge. It could go either way. Uh, and as you can see, these shirts looked as good as new. Sometimes items will come back with the service form uh, where you know, they'll actually take detailed notes saying the treatment process that they went through and whether or not they were able to completely remove a stain. Uh, and as you can see, uh, you know, they really made this look like uh, a walk in the park. So I know that it couldn't seem any more crazy to mail shirts halfway across the country to have them dry cleaned, uh, but this is such a great illustration of why I really go to those uh, great links. Now, there's no question that Ray Fabric Care is a premium dry cleaners. I mean, they're not, you know, $1.25 a shirt. Uh, but if you have an important item or if you have a workout case or, or something that really needs special attention, uh, Ray Fabricare, without question, is probably the best dry cleaners in the nation. And as you can see, uh, not only do they do a phenomenal job cleaning their shirts, uh, but they're actually able to turn back the clock on items and make them look better uh, than uh, new in many cases. So I couldn't recommend Ray Fabricare uh, any more enthusiastically. And, and what a great illustration of why that is. If you haven't visited KirbyAllison.com, please take a moment to do so. We have the largest collection of luxury garment care, luxury shoe care, and other luxury clothing accessories anywhere in the world. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Thanks for joining me.